So, you know, I think we need a friend. Come on, Boris. Get into your new home, friend. Come on, you sussy bucka, get in there. I thought I could use leads on it, but I can't. Life is just not fair, and that's okay with me. But we're gonna have him be the spider librarian, okay? This, you don't need to be specious. This is my new friend. Boris, welcome home. You're so cool, Boris. I hope you don't despawn. <laughs> I really do. Oh, fuck. I need to get the, uh... Yeah, see? No, you fucking cunt. Why did I bother with you? I wish I could move him around with a lead. I guess this is our cue that we need to get the roof up. I want Boris to be in this fucking room. This is where Boris lives. Boris is the librarian spider. I will, I will fucking cry if Boris gets killed or despawned. I don't want him to go. He's too precious. Or I guess he could just be the house spider. <sighs> Shit, why didn't I name him that? Fucking damn it. I'm so stupid. Let's work on the roof for now. So we can keep Boris in here, because I don't want Boris to leave. Boris is my friend. You don't understand. Is this... Well, that answers that question. Never mind. Uh, alright. Let's get a fucking roof on this bitch. Alright. People are probably like, oh, you should totally use the, uh... Where did Boris go? Okay. You can hopefully just stay in this room and be an incredible bro. Alright. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just fucking just sit in here and think about it. Alright, so I have an idea. I want to make this room, in particular, a skylight. And you're probably like, Seth, why? Because I like skylights! What's wrong with that? You got a problem with it? It's not your house. It's my house. I'm the one that's got to live with it. How ugly it is. <laughs> it's not ugly. It's aesthetically unique. <laughs> so... If you think it's ugly, well, you you just haven't seen shit yet. We're just we're just gonna keep building and building until I have to leave, and then I'll just say fuck it, and then just do it off camera. But for now, you'd be like, where'd that spider come from? If I didn't show you this, I love Boris. Boris is so fucking cool. Hey, you can't stay in there. All right, good. I think one more layer should do it, and then I'll glass it off. Uh, we'll do a... Oh, I don't have any glass on me, so I can't check. Fuck! This is where you can be like, Oh, if you used fucking scaffolding, Seth, you wouldn't have this problem. Well, you know what? You're not wrong, but you're also not correct, and I'm not gonna listen to you. Oh, shit! I'm out of fucking... <laughs> I have too much shit in my inventory. Alright, let's get this crap out of here. I don't need all these weapons of war with, uh, my friend out here. He might get the wrong impression of me. You might get the wrong impression of me. I was gonna lead him to water, and I can't make it drink. Here's your spider trivia, if you didn't know it. Spiders do actually drink water. You probably didn't know that. They they have little feeding hairs that they can suck it into their mouth with. Probably didn't know that. That's why you have a friend like me. I'm not your friend, but you know what? <laughs> You can pretend. Maybe, well, maybe you know me in real life and we are actually friends, so that's a bit different. So, that's cool. So, will this stay? Yeah, so we're gonna want to keep it right here then. That's fine. Boris, buddy old pal, this is your new home. You get to... God damn it, don't fucking think about it. Oh no! Ugh. What if Boris kills himself? This is sad. I don't want to think about it. Get... Oh, he's gonna die. I don't like that. Stop it. <laughs> Stay down there with your friends. I don't want you up here. <laughs> you don't need to be in this world, Boris. You don't understand. And because of you fucking me up, I had to, like, 
redo what I was doing. Thanks. You're a real pal. All right, so let's... Hopefully this makes sense is what I'm going to try to do. I think... Yeah, you spin me right round. All right, I think I'm just going to stick with full glass. I'll take the L. I think full glass might be a better idea. I like this idea best. I'll take care of the roof up here later. I'll put something around it to make it look different from the roof. You're not even going to look at the roof, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I want it to look nice. So... Oh, boy. But yeah, I love spiders in real life, so it's really cool. I don't know if he's going to despawn. I imagine he might, and I'm going to be a little butthurt. But that spider's been in this whole, like, area for, like, days, so I feel kind of bad for it. I know, I feel bad for the little virtual brown spider. That's not probably a good thing to have admitted, but you know what? It's true, I feel bad for it. Can you admit that you feel bad for little virtual critters sometimes? Or is it just me? If he takes damage too many times, I'll just heal him with potions. I don't care. I don't want him to go away. This is his house as much as it is mine. Alright, we can't... I came into this world and fucked his world up. Okay? I'm the, I'm the asshole here, not Boris. Okay? He's not going to leave this room probably because he's very stupid. So, we're pretty lucky in that regard. But I'd like to keep him in here as the time progresses. But yeah, I'll, th I'll think of a clever roof pattern above here as well. Maybe we'll add a second floor. And I know I'm not done decorating either because we still have uh, potion storage to take care of as well. Fuck. There we go. I like how you could probably be like, Seth, you don't even have any torches. Why are... Or not torches. You don't have any fucking like coal left over you shouldn't be wasting torches like that you know what yeah that's cool i see your point but it don't matter um no we're not gonna do it up here so we're gonna start putting in the roofing because this this is something that we need to do for sure um i don't oh, fucking shit See, like I said, you'd be like, oh, Seth, you could just use uh, scaffolding and shut up! No one likes scaffolding. Scaffolding is gross. Scaffolding is newfangled Minecraft. That's not part of my world, okay? I gotta be careful not to leave these <laughs> pillars around because then the spider will get out. I want it in here. I can't help it. It's cool. Alright, we'll just do a basic roof pattern. I don't really mind. Um... Because I almost always inevitably try to make a fancy roof and then I just don't look at it. So I don't really care. But we definitely need to roof off this damn place. It's been way, way too long. And we have had no roof for the whole game. So let's just... Mm -mm, love shack. Don't talk crap. Get your ass slapped. That's not how the song goes at all. I know. I'm making my own way. I'm taking this land over. <laughs> so. Oh, now I have the... You know, now I think I realize how fucking Boris spawned. There's fucking dark patches of shit all over the place out here, and I haven't even realized it. That's okay, though. We'll get more spider friends. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe. We'll probably pack the house full of spiders, maybe. It's a big W, maybe. I think I agree with my idea better. Then again, I don't know if they despawn. I just named him because it would be cute. I don't actually know if he's going to despawn or escape or something. I'm not sure yet. So, let's do this. Ah, fuck shit. Here we go. You will probably... Uh, no! God damn it. All right, so this is what I was going to do. We're not even done with the roof. Yeah, he's still in there. I see him. I'm worried about my little virtual fake spider, okay? Is that a problem? I get it, but I don't like any other creatures in this game except spiders and cats, so... 
I don't know if the cat will kill it. I actually don't know. So that's why I'm like hesitant of thinking about putting a cat in this room. Or in the house at all. Plus they're annoying. They just go, meow. Just like real cats. Okay. So this looks pretty good. Can I jump out of it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, no, that looks stupid. Say it with me now, Seth. That's stupid. Mm. I want to invert this. It's so fucking finicky. I hate trying to do this. Oh, fuck it. You know what? It's good. It's fine. It's fine the way it is. It's good as God left it. Uh, he left it in a bad shape. I know. We're not done with the roof decoration, of course. I I want to do some little pillars and gothic stuff, because I can't help it. And I'll make, like, a rain fixture, and... Oh, man. I love decorating in this game. It's just so much fun. Whatever. Uh, well, this is what happens when you build with irregular patterns, so it's not, like, super shocking. It would bug me, because I have an idea for this. Look at that shit. That is so fucking cool. Well, this is one room down. Well, I'll worry about lighting later. I always do lighting last. Which is why I have so many mobs all over the place right now, probably. I, he probably spawned over there, if I had to guess. That was where he was birthed. The birth, the birthplace of Boris. If you don't get the joke, I'm not telling you. You have to figure that out yourself. Where is he? Where is that loathsome fuck? Okay. <gasps> oh, I have feather falling. What am I worried about? Mr. Boris! What are you doing? What? Are you not my friend? What? What is your problem? Do I have to put you in a hole and time out? Are you gonna try to get me? What are you gonna do about it? Yeah? He's not trying to attack me. I think it's just because at night they're hostile, so... Well, as long as you don't attack me, I won't attack you, Boris. Alright, well... I don't have a weapon. Yeah? See this? This is what the equalizer is, okay? This is what keeps me and you separate. You fuck with me, you're gonna get this. See that? I, I whip the table with it, or the bookshelf with it, so you know it's dangerous. I can do that to you anytime. Think about it. Alright, so this room is... pretty much done. I'm not going to go through this area very often, so I'm not worried about that little stretch over there. Alright, we need... Lighting. <laughs> Bad. Uh, but we need to get the roof in, because it's going to have shit spawn in here if we're not careful. Yeah, if you use the uh, things, you wouldn't have this problem. I know. I'm well aware of it, my friendo. Friendo. Uh, I don't need chests, I'm pretty sure. Well, you know, don't matter. Water bucket, just in case. Actually, I need torches, because I'm probably going to need them as we get going here. Yeah, I don't know, is he hostile to me now, or is he just going to leave me alone, like a good boy, and not do something dumb that's going to get his ass kicked? Where the f- oh, they're over here, that's right. I remember now. I'm not going to use torches as lighting, because that's lame. Uh, everyone uses torches as lighting in Minecraft, so we're not doing it. We're gonna do, uh, lanterns, because lanterns are for sophisticated people like me. I really don't know if he's gonna turn on me, and that's really what's kind of scaring me a bit. I <laughs> so what happens if I do day? Is he still gonna be aggressive? Look, I'm not worried about this thing killing me by the slightest. I'm just curious if he's ever going to go aggro on me and just someday fucking I'm at to old yeller his ass. I really hope I don't have to. That's the, uh, 
It's the message. I don't want to have to do it. I don't want to have to be that guy and put him down like a rabid spider dog. I mean, that, that's kind of cool sounding, actually. Rabid Spider Dog. My favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! trap card. So we're not going to go with a crazy uh, roof pattern, I don't think. I'm just going to keep it... Fuck! I'm going to keep it simple. Just in case. Uh, we're going to keep it simple. And uh, we're just going to do a nice ring-based thing, and then I'll decorate the uh, rings outside as we get going. So I think each roof definition is going to be slightly different. Some are going to be taller, some are going to be shorter, some climb on rocks. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I like the idea. I think it's fine. And I'm never really a huge fan of, like, over-designing roofs. If it's just a basic structure, like a villager house, I might, but if it's just this, that's not a big deal. But yeah, super stoked to have that spider down here. If he despawns, I'm not going to be butthurt, but I... okay, I might be. I was like, what the fuck is that? It's an Enderman, okay. I'm not, like, worried if Enderman can pick shit up, because it's not a... It's not a prime problem to me at this point. Like, if they do, they do. That's all there is to it. It's not like I can control where they spawn 100%. Okay, that's not true. I can. But if they do, I'm not going to be mad. That's what I'm trying to ugh, trying to say here. So we'll just do a nice basic um, roof. Nothing super crazy. This is going to be a longer video because uh, sometimes I don't have to talk every two seconds, I don't think. You guys can just get to watch me click, drag, and click, and drag. Most videos I think most people like myself watch like this, usually you have on to go to sleep, so I don't care. If you fall asleep watching my stuff, that's fine. I watch other people's stuff and fall asleep all the time anyways, so... Not a big deal if you do. I'm not gonna hate you for... zoning out. I mean, I... I don't care. If you click on the video and you want to watch it, that's fine. Not much is going on right this minute, so... If you want to just zone it out while you're at work, that's fine too. Just don't play it out loud, because if you're playing this video out loud- FUCK DICKS! There you go, now you're in trouble with HR. So, have fun! If your company has an HR department, that is. I don't know if that spider's ever gonna get out of that corner, is he? I think he's just... <clears throat> he's just fascinated with that corner. He doesn't want to get out of it. Shitter. Should I leave the... Nah, I don't want him to leave. Because I... I don't want him to leave the har the uh, house. I almost said harem. <laughs> yeah, the harem, eh? Uh, let's... I would love to do this. Just a cool little... Fucking... I hate stairs. This is why I don't use them. This will, like, gather rainwater, won't it? It does something. See, that's what I was trying to do on the other side. But it doesn't fucking... No, it's stupid. I hate it. I don't want to talk about it. I can always make more stairs, by the way. It's not hard. Stairs are very inexpensive to make. And that's why you get a stone cutter, by the way. Uh, stone cutter saves... It would happen whether or not I had scaffolding, by the way. Um, Stonecutter saves you so much resource in the end. It's always a better interest to get one. See, I don't- I love that you can do this with stairs and shit now, but it's so inconvenient when you're building and you have to keep moving around. How am I gonna pull this one out? No, that's shitty. Don't- no, that's dumb. Don't do that. That's diarrhea. Oh, well, that's- that's fine. That's not diarrhea. Uh, huh. Let's worry about that in a minute. See, I like this. This is cool. I can come up here and watch the stars. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, say it with me. That's dumb, Seth. I like this. It looks really cool. Little ramparts, almost. 
Yay! I like being able to walk around on the roof. That's something I like doing in games, if they let you do it. Where'd my spider go? Okay. I like I have to just keep checking to make sure it's still there, because it's I'm emotionally invested, and I can't help it. <laughs> I've got emotional attachment issues, okay? That's true, but I've got issues, okay? Don't judge me. Actually, you can. I don't care. But my little Spider-Man is my little friend in this little bleak world full of horrible, horrible danger and evil, evil shit that wants you dead. It's nice to have a friend. Just one more drink, friend. And then that's farewell, friend. Just one more drop, friends, And it's au revoir. Just one more drink, friend. And then we'll see you again, friends. Uh, you're probably like, how do you know that? And you know what? <laughs> I'm asking myself the same question, so... One more drink, friend. Then farewell, friend. If you don't know what I'm singing, I'm not gonna spoil it. You can just have to look up just one more drink, friend, and then go, Oh! Why? <laughs> That's fine. I'm not gonna get mad at you for doing that. Uh-huh. This is looking pretty good. This is not the, the final roof product, by the way. We're going to have a lightning rod and a bunch of other shit up here, too. So I don't know if I want to connect the lightning rod to something. It's a big, big maybe. I'm not really sure. Don't be such a big maybe, okay? You might be like, Seth, this is boring looking so far. Well, you know what? I'm not done. This is just the roof skeleton. Okay, it's not the full, the fucking McRibwich combo, you fat fucking American, okay? Can I have a confession to make? I've never had a ri McRibwich. And I've also never had a Big Mac in my entire life. Yeah, I know. I admit it. Never had a Big Mac. I've had Mac Big, but never a Big Mac. Mac Big does sound like a fucking bootleg ass version of a Big Mac. It really does. Um, but no, I, I I just never had it. I really don't like McDonald's. I know that's crazy, but I just it's not really my thing. I've never liked fast food all that much. Even when I was a glorious, greasy, fat teenager, I still didn't like McDonald's all that much. Uh, maybe this is biased because I used to work there for five years, but I like Burger King. Burger King's okay. I mean, they're not, like, great, but they're they're in the okay category, I'd say. You know, they're not, like, their fries are really good. People can go, oh, no, they're not. Look at McDonald's fries. Are McDonald's fries are limp dicks, okay? They're not good. I don't know why people... Why am I struggling to do this? I don't know why I'm having such an issue with this. Um, fucking stop it. All right, there. We'll just do that. Um, yeah, I think McDonald's fries are shit. I don't know why people like those. Wendy's fries are the tits, let's just be real. If there's any really good fries in the industry, it's it's Wendy's. And I'm, I'm aware that someone could be like, well, actually, they're not that good. But you know what? That's fine. I haven't had very many fast food fries in my life because I don't eat fast food. So... I cook dinner, like, virtually every single day. The only time I don't is when we order, like, pizza every now and again. But, uh, in my opinion, I like, uh, Burger King fries. Burger King fries are the tits. They have always been the tits. And some people can go, oh, well, they changed the formula and they put, they put rat poison and MSG in it. I heard it on, uh, some website that doesn't exist. Yeah, sure you did, buddy. I'm sure you did. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video here just real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna be talking about how much I can't stand McDonald's fries. It's true, I think they're gross. McDonald's fries are yucky. They're just limp and flaccid. Sad. Why do people like McDonald's, honestly? I don't know. Is it because I'm a fat fucking American? That's probably why some people assume it, but... I don't... I just don't get McDonald's. I, I can't I can't eat from a place that calls itself unironically Mickey D's. I can't eat from a place like that. That's just No. 
That's disgusting. Why would you say that, Mickey D's? What are you, six? I hope not, because you shouldn't be watching my shit if you're six years old. But, no, man. Mickey D's? Have some self-respect, okay? Just tell me. Tell me honestly. Mickey D's? Like, really? You're gonna call it that now? Is that what the kids call things? Ugh. It's just ridiculous, man. Mickey D's. You know what? You know what? You can Mickey D's these nuts. There, I said it for you. You didn't have to tell me it. Um, no, I... Ugh. McDonald's is grody. I have never liked McDonald's. Like, the only thing I like from McDonald's is, like, their filet of fish and even then, that's pretty paltry and not very good. Like, I like fish sandwiches in, like, real life. I like most sandwiches in general, because I'm a greasy fucking American, right? But it's so weird. I just... I don't like McDonald's. filet of fish is so sad and limpid. It just doesn't look right. Like, every time I've had one in the past, like, I don't know how long it's been since I've ordered one. You know, I order fast food in the same rate people go to dentist appointments, okay? I, I don't know how long it's been. But, I don't know. The last time I had one, it was just like in Albany. <clears throat> if you don't know where that is, well, that's fine. You're probably not an Oregonian. Um, but, truth be told, it wasn't... Oh, frick, you can fucking do that now. It's so weird. Um... But yeah, it was really depressing. It had, like, very sloppily put together, and it's funny, because it's, like, three ingredients. It's the fish patty, the fucking tartar sauce, and cheese. Do they even have pickles on them? Like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't order from Mickey D's, so I don't know what to tell you. If you're probably like, well then, Mr. Smart Guy, what fast food do you order from? I don't order fast food. My roommate likes fast food every now and then when I'm not home. Uh, if I had to work late or something. We have dinner every night. There's literally been no day that we haven't had dinner together in like the past like three years. So I make dinner every single day if I can. Uh, I used to really like Subway, but then they kind of went to shit after they got rid of the $5 foot long. You know, I'm sure they didn't make any money from it, uh, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> it was the best fucking marketing strategy ever. It even had a catchy slogan. And then people go, oh, fucking Subway is not even real bread. Oh, who gives a shit, dude? It tastes good. My stomach is angry at me for some really bizarre reason right now. That wasn't just me making, like, silly noises. That was my stomach going, oh! I don't know what I've done to you, stomach. I don't know what I've put into you to make you so angry. I, I'm sorry. I can't help you right now. But, uh... No, I... Subway just went downhill. And you could be like, is it because of Jared? I don't think Jared had anything to do with their food. Uh... Oh god, I hope not. But... No, I think the problem with... With Subway... Was the fact that... They didn't really have a marketing strategy after that, and they kind of just... I wouldn't say that they were bad, uh, because Subway as it is... I, I like Subway over Quiznos. I don't know if anyone remembers what Quiznos was, but I do. They were all over the fucking place in Oregon. Um, Quiznos is great. Oh, fuck you, man. You don't look like how I thought you would. That sounded too real, didn't it? Fucking got trapped by a fucking stare. Shit! Anyways. No, I think the problem with, uh, Subway is they didn't have any... You see, the problem with Subway of many, I should say, is... Subway as a whole is such a basic concept for a food you don't really need. Oh man, this is a mob spot waiting to happen. Um, there we go. So I think we'll put the portal here, like at the end in this spot. The problem with Subway is it's like, okay, how, 
how much more complex of a menu does Subway realistically need? Like, because pff, it's just sandwiches. I mean, yeah, you can get chips, but that's cool, right? Like, chips are great with a sandwich, but I don't really want them all the time. I think Subway's big problem, and I think this is also just a little bit of speculation here, is... They didn't expect to get popular after the $5 footlong, and they probably got, like, fucking blasted to hell and back. Because, let's be real here, what else did you order at Subway that wasn't a sandwich? Nothing. And what do you think their main income is? Subway. Sandwiches. Right? And then they tried to get all fucking, oh, we got wraps and shit for the fucking fat vegans. It's like, okay, that's cool. Uh, is there a $5 footlong deal still? No, we don't have that anymore, sir. Well, then fuck you then. That's just my opinion. I'm sure the Subway had, like, menu. Oh, they have cookies, don't they? But I don't go to Subway for a cookie. I go to my grandma's house for a cookie, okay? If I want cookies, I'll go, you know, dig up my dead grandma and ask her corpse politely to make me a cookie. And, um, that's how I do it. I don't know what you do, but that's how I do it. So, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think they had any market strategy after they did that. Like, oh shit, what do we do? You burned your bridges by getting rid of the $5 footlong. It was such a fucking deal. Like, and from a marketing standpoint, let's be real here. That's how you get your your upsells right there, as you say, would you like a drink or something like that today? And then they say, oh yeah, you know what, sure. I'm gonna get my greasy mayonnaise sandwich and, uh, you know, I'd like some soda with that to wash down my mayonnaise sandwich. You know, it wouldn't shock me if there was people that went through Subway, and they probably still do. There's like, get me a fucking sandwich full of mayonnaise! <laughs> That's probably happening more than I like to admit. I used to have a woman that came in like every other day and just wanted a shitload of mayonnaise on her croissant, which it was really gross. Because eggs and mayonnaise do not smell good together because they're basically the same thing. And it just smells like cum after a while. It's really gross. Uh, that looks really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna make a skylight up there, too, because I like skylights. I'm like the dad in Indian in the Cupboard, uh, where he tries- he- he makes his wife all hot and bothered over skylights. You think I'm joking? It's a real scene. He's like, How do you feel about skylights? My stomach is bullshit. Stop. Stop interrupting it. Let me try that again. How do you feel about skylights? And she's just like, whoosh! And then, like, her vagina just gushes. It's it's just not even wet. It's just gushing rapids of just... Skeen's gland is ready. Like, it's just... Imagine in Diablo if that happened. When Mephisto says the gate stands ready, the Skeen's gland's ready! That would be so funny. Why am I talking about the Skeen's gland? That's a word I fucking hate, by the way. Gland. That is a disgusting word. Glands. Oh, you know, I, I got kicked out of the military because of a problem with my glands. It's like, don't say that. I don't like that word. Gland. It's just got a lot of the problem, you know? It just doesn't, doesn't sound good. My stomach is just... Why is it being so bullshit? That's not me farting, it's my stomach churning. I don't know what its problem is right now. I didn't eat anything weird. I, I don't think. I can't recall. That's just my stomach is being bullshit. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom just to be sure. Alright, there we go. I blasted the glands out of me. Oh, that's a horrible expression. I'm so sorry. Um... But yeah, this there's a scene in the Indian in the cupboard where the dad's like caressing his mom's birdie hair, and he's like, How do you feel about skylights, babe? And then they produce an ugly, ugly child. And that's how... That's how Omri was born. Or sorry, conceived. You're not born, you're conceived, you fucking idiot. I know, I know. How do you feel about 
skylights. Try that on anyone. I guarantee you they won't they will not be aroused. <clears throat> so <gasps> Oh, I got an idea. This will be another skylight. Hang on a minute. Let me Shit, I just knocked things off the table. Um, I'm gonna go in a moment here. I gotta go pick up my roommate, and then I gotta go to the store. Um... Let's see if I can finish this. No. I'm not gonna be able to finish it. I'll have to... Uh, 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 I don't want a fucking Enderman or everywhere! Oh, no! <sighs> Skylights. Get off my house! I can't call you something because <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, I think I'm just going to cover this with um, a single layer. All the single layers. And we'll decorate the top of the roof when I get back. Because I don't know how long this is going to take and I don't want to forget... So, uh, yeah, we got the roof done. Let's take a gander inside. Well, the roof is started, not decorated yet. We haven't even fucked with the outside of the house yet. But, uh, so far, this is a pretty nice, uh, little abode I've got going on here. We're gonna do lighting after this as well. I like this room. This is probably my favorite room. This shit's cozy. Look at that. That looks like super cozy. I might replace that with a uh, glowstone actually. So It looks pretty good. I think I do say so. I say I say I say I think I've done a good job here. Well, I like this color palette. It looks really pretty. So, I'll be right back.